Prayer with Apostle J.B. Makananiza. Touch your screen now. Can we all stand? Ask God today to give you grace of not judging others. Pray that prayer. Pray. Ask God to give you grace I can't hear you. In Jesus' name, amen. There's something that I never told my wife, but I'm practicing it. If I'm speaking with her, and I found she doesn't understand what I'm speaking, I keep quiet. Because, number one, I know that argument lead us to sin. And whatever you do, you'll be judged by the people around you. If I see, oh, I'm bringing this, and mama doesn't understand this, I say, ah, let me keep quiet. I'll just keep quiet and say, mama doesn't understand this. If she wants us to talk about it, she will say it again. Because it is useless to spend time together talking what you don't understand together. The reason why you are together is for you to help each other. But if this another one is having another mind, another one is having another mind, you can end up accusing each other. If certain, when certain want to attack you, he bring a discord in the house. Start in the house. Does it start from anywhere in the house? So the moment I realize, oh, I'm saying this, oh, my wife, she's speaking about this. I say, no, 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 no. Let's leave that. And sometimes it's better you become stupid of God than become wise of men. Because most of the time we want to prove our wisdom. Oh, I'm a man here. And I forget that I'm a man because God made me a man. So if God made me a man, he will prove it for me. It's not issues of being lazy to think. But also it's to analyze everything you bring. You must not uh, conclude. Don't just conclude. You must check your temper. You check how you address things. It can help you. If now you have got a partner, the first person that must know you are a Christian is your partner, your husband or your wife. I'm sure you understand that. This person will, your wife is there to help the husband. Is there, okay, she can know your mistakes and help you at the same time she's finding revelation for herself. A wife learn by observation. A wife learned by what? By observation. That's why you found ladies can do window shopping better than men. So they're observing you. They found one, two, three. Or she found one, two, three. And then she tells you, hey, there is something like this. And you don't change. There's something like this. You don't change. Whatever I say is final. If you don't want anybody to correct you, you're in danger. Already you are judging other people that whatever they say is useless to you. This is the time that, you know, you look at yourself. Are you hearing me? Lift up your hands. You look at yourself. Again, you pray the same prayer. Lord, help me in my judgments. Prayer. Give me wisdom. I can't hear your prayer. 
Oh Lord, help us. In Jesus' name, amen. If you are wise enough, let the people see you by the character. Not by saying, hey, wait, no, what are you doing there? Hey, wait, no, you're stupid here. No, by your character. They must know that you are Christian if you are wise. Even when they are fighting you, they must know you are what? A Christian. What another thing that I told my wife, I said, Mama, I don't want to judge anyone. So when I still have spiritual sons here who are misbehaving, I will call them aside. You are doing wrong, one, two, three. Are you changing? Yes. Okay. I've forgiven you. Don't do it again. When I see, oh, you don't listen, I'll bring you to church. Because that's what the Bible says. But I won't judge anyone. As long as you are saying, forgive me, I won't judge you. Forgive me, I won't judge you. And that's the reason why today we are still preaching the gospel. I mean, to everything that has happened to us, this church was supposed not to be around today. Look at the people talking, this, that. I mean, but if I might have judged when people are talking, and I say, you're not a prophet, what about those ones who have been prophesied? They will follow this word. What about those ones? You find everybody here, it's like a dam when it breaks all sides. Water flows to each direction. So one of our problems today is we are on other people's mistakes than ourselves. And this makes us to do what? To judge. Can we just lift up our hands? We ask God to give us grace to forgive others. Prayer. Father, give us grace to forgive. Give us the grace to forgive. Give us that grace to forgive. In Jesus' name. Amen.